Shalom, shalom, shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Kakwadash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. I like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole for the elect. And shalom to you, sincere brother Scott Abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the Servants of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And uh, pretty much this lesson is going to be titled as Fear the Lord. All right, you want to fear the Lord. All right, because again, you know, everything that's instructed on this earth is through Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man. You know, the Lord blessing you to live another day. You know, the Lord is protecting you, you know, as you go to work and come back home safely, you know. The things that you do on a daily daily basis daily basis is of the mercies of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. So you want to fear the Lord. Alright? And our uh, Lord will is that's edifying. This is Proverbs 1 and 7. It says the fear of the Lord, anytime you see Lord in caps, it's talking about the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. It says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, right? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Because when you come into this truth, alright, and you you know you hear you know, the prophets out on the street corners teaching, you know, bringing out this truth, all right? You start to understand the Lord. You start to know the Lord. You start to become uh, a strong bond with Yahweh Bashim HaShai because you hear the instructions, all right, of the Lord being brought out through his prophets because the Lord is, speaks to his, his men who are his prophets, all right, who are the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, all right? So when you come to this truth and you start to hear the word of the Lord being brought out, all right, you start to fear the Lord. You start to understand. You get the understanding of, you know, the end result of the, the judgment of the Lord, the wrath of the Lord, the anger of the Lord. So you start to become obedient. You start to, you know, come out of the ways of this society, all right? Proverbs 1 and 7, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, right? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Who are the fools? The two-thirds. They don't fear the Lord. All right. They don't fear the Lord. They do what they want to do. They have their so-called own free will, which in the scriptures, there is no own free will. All right. Only God can judge you. You know, they had a bull crap philosophy, man. All right. So they it says it says, but the fools despise wisdom and instruction. They don't fear the Lord. All right. But you want you would want to fear the Lord because the Lord, he can kill you. He can not take you out of here, man. Proverbs 8 and 13, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil, right? See, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil, all right? Don't keep doing the things you were doing when you were in the world, all right? You're supposed to pull out from that. You're supposed to go away from that. You're supposed to transform from that, all right? It says the fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the four mouth do I hate. And the Lord hates that. The Lord hates a person that's prideful and arrogant. And when you go into arrogance, it says arrogance. All right, having or showing an exaggerated option of one's own importance. It says merit, ability, etc., conceited, overbearing, proud. All right, an arrogant teacher, an arrogant assumption. All right, overbearingly proud, man. That's what arrogancy is. All right, you don't want to be told nothing. Nobody can tell you nothing. But hey, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai, you know, the Lord, if you don't fear the men of the Lord, because the Lord speaks to his men, the Lord can put you to death, man. All right? The Lord can kill you. He can put your ass to death. That's why Matthew 10 and 28, perfect example. Matthew 10 and 28, it says, and fear not them which kill the body. Right? Don't fear men. Everybody fears men in this society. Everybody feel, fears this man because he, he's been to prison. He didn't kill people. He didn't did this. He didn't did that. He's a so-called psychopath. This, you know, they fear men. Everybody fear men. When I say everybody, I'm talking about these two thirds. They fear men. They fear Esau, Edom. You know, they fear they, 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 they fear the higher ups. All right. But the scriptures tells us what? And fear it says, and fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy body, to be to destroy soul and body in hell. So like it. And we're living in hell right now. Hell is the condition of affliction which we're living in right now. All right. And it says him that can kill both soul and body. And who can kill both soul and body? Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. So you want to fear the Lord. All right. You want to fear the Lord. While you living in this mortal body, you want to be doing the will 
of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. You want to fear the Lord. All right? You want to fear the Lord. That's why the scriptures say in uh, Philippians uh, uh, 2 and 12 or 12 and 2, it says, uh, uh, um, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So you want to fear the Lord. All right? Achilleastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of men. This is the whole duty of men. You are to fear the Lord. All right? You are to fear the Lord and to keep his commandments to the best of your ability. All right? If you ain't if you're not doing that, then you don't fear the Lord. You're not repenting every day, then you don't fear the Lord. All right? And you're gonna be destroyed. Job 28, 28. And on to man. He said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, it says the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, right? And to depart from evil is understanding, right? So to depart from evil is understanding. Once you get the under wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that it's true, you're going to fear the Lord. You're going to start going out teaching. You're going to start doing three videos every day. You're going to start studying to show yourself approved. You're going to be spirit. The Lord is going to deal with you spiritually. And you're going to start applying yourself to the scriptures more and more. You're going to become more spiritual in your carnalities. You're not going to have those carnalities like that. You're going to be more spiritual than you are carnal. And you're going to start fasting. You're going to start fasting more. You're going to start praying more. You're going to start being more obedient to the Lord. And then people are going to start looking at you different like, dang, what's happening to him? He's changing. He's not the same no more, you know? And that's when the Lord starts drawing you away from people, you know? Because a lot of your worldly friends you have, you know, they, they don't have to understand the truth. They still westernized. They're still naive. But then they're looking at you and they're like, dang, this dude is changing, man. He's not the same no more. What's wrong with him? What's up with him? You know? And then, you know, pretty soon through time, you know, people start distancing themselves from you. Oh, he's too much into the Bible. Oh, he think he better than us. Not knowing that it's not that it's not that is that the Lord has cleansed you. The Lord has washed you away of all the all the filthiness. As the Lord says in the scriptures, man, he had made made us or made you a new creature. All right. So now you're not you're not you're not embedded in the world like that. You're more focused on. On the things above, like Colossians 3 and 2, set your affections on the things above, like Matthew 6 and 19. It says, uh, lay, lay not up your treasures on the earth, but lay up your treasures up in heaven. All right. That's exactly what we're doing. That's why we fear the Lord, because we know the Lord is, is intensifying his judgment. And we don't want to be those individuals. Deuteronomy 10 and 12, it says, and now it says, and now Israel, what doeth the Lord thy power require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy power, right? To walk in all his ways and to love him and to serve the Lord thy power with all thine with all thy heart and with all thy soul, right? So you supposed to be fearing the Lord. All right? You supposed to be fearing the Lord. Psalms 1, 11 and 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Uh-huh. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. Praise, it says, but it says his praise endure forever. Right. So you want to fear the Lord, man. You want to fear Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. All right. You want to fear the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, man. All right. This is uh, Psalms 86 and 11. Teach me thy way, O Lord. I will walk in thy truth. Unite my, my heart, meaning fear, I mean my mind, because it says unite my heart. Because that word heart is a Hebrew word which means mind. It says unite my mind to fear thy name. So you want to fear the Lord, man. All right. You want to do is what the Lord commands you to do. You want to fear the Lord. All right. Because Yahweh Bashi Mashai, he is our shield. He is our protector. He's our buckler, man. Lord, the Lord, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and his only begotten Son. All right. He's guiding us every day. He's making sure we make it to where we go to and back every day, man. You know, there's so many people that's leaving home right now as I speak, and they're not making it back home, you know? So, hey, man, you, you want to fear your how about Shimei Hashai, man? Pro, this is Psalms 34 and 9. It says, oh, oh, it says, oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints. And who are the saints? The Israelites, man. You so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, all right? It says, for there is no want to them that fear him. Right, there's no want to him, the one to there's no want to them that fear him. Because when you fear the Lord, the Lord is gonna be dealing with you, man. The Lord's gonna be protecting you, man. He's gonna be guiding you. He's gonna be putting, you know, sending you, uh, protecting you, you know, guiding you through all these trials and tribulations. Because look, the Lord works in perfect balance. You know, he's gonna protect you, but he's also gonna let you go through things in this in this mortal body. Alright? 
Job went through it. Now we got to go through it. All right. So, hey, you want to fear the Lord. You want to fear the Lord, man. Isaiah 41 and 10, it says, fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. So you want to fear the Lord, man. You want to do the will of your how about she my shy, man. When you come into this truth, man, you want to put off all the worldly, uh, 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 naive lust that you used to have. Because you can't bring that old person who you were in the truth. You can't, I mean, who you were in the world before you came to the truth. You can't bring that person into the truth, man. That worldly lust on you, who you were, you can't bring that person to the truth. You gotta, you gotta throw that old man and put on that new, that new one, man, that new, that new jacket, man. And you gotta come in here with a sound mind. You gotta come in here with humility. You gotta come in here with sincerity. All right. You gotta come in here with truth. All right. You gotta examine yourself and you gotta work on yourself, man. It's a lot of things you gotta do. All right. So, hey, man, you want to fear the Lord. And this is the uh, scripture I quoted earlier. We ended with this. This is Philippians 2 and 12. It says, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Because when you come into this thing, once you know that you're a Hebrew Israelite, once you know to understand the, uh, the law, statutes, and commandments, once you understand the true name of the Heavenly Father is only begotten Son, once you understand that you are to do three videos every day and set up camp once a week, once you understand you're supposed to be repenting 24-7, once you understand that you're not supposed to celebrate these pagan holidays and not supposed to eat no more abominable foods, once you know that you're not supposed to get no lineup and marring on your beard, all right? Once you understand that you are supposed to uh, continually to endure temptation and afflictions here, you got to keep that, man. Once you come into this thing, you cannot go back into the world, man. You have to stay focused and enduring in this truth, man. Working out your own salvation with fear and trembling, man. You want to fear the Lord, man. Because according to Isaiah 45, uh, 5 through 6, all right, the Lord kills. According to Proverbs 16 and 4, the Lord kills. According to Deuteronomy 32 and 39, the Lord kills. According to Deuteronomy 30 and 15, the Lord kills. According to Deuteronomy 30 and 19, the Lord kills. All right? According to 1 Samuel 2 and 6, the Lord kills, man. The Lord kills. So you uh, you want to fear the Lord. It could be 2 Samuel 2 and 6. But it's 1 Samuel or 2 Samuel 2 and 6, the Lord kills, man. All right? The Lord kills. The Lord works in a perfect balance. So you want to fear the Lord. So, hey, man, Lord willing is less than edifying. I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Yahweh Kachodash, and double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to the Ophel elect. And shalom to you, sincere brother, scatter abroad, push your forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And Lord willing is less than edifying, man. Till next time I say, Shalom.